Welcome to the Box Office Report, letting you know the top five movies that were recognized. And of course, yes, it is no surprise. Let's get into number five. Number five is Deadpool and Wolverine, $3.8 million this past weekend. And again, um, Deadpool Wolverine is pretty popular there. It's offered a place in Marvel Cinematic Universe by a Time Variance Authority, but instead recruits a variant of Wolverines to save his universe from extinction. And it is uh, from Walt Disney Studio Motion Pictures. Uh, it's been released for 60 days, 8 weeks at over uh, 4,300 theaters plus and growing. It's two hours and eight minutes long. It's a action-adventure comedy, sci-fi. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting uh, movie there. It's not top-of-the-line uh, movie or anything like that, but it is definitely one... I uh, wouldn't recommend it for kids, but it's good for adults. And if you like some kind of action movie, it's pretty pretty good. I would uh, recommend that one for sure. And then, of course, if we go to the number four, it is Never Let Go. And it at number four, went at $4.4 .4 million dollars. And of course, that movie uh, is, um, well, it's a horror thriller, but it's a family that has been haunted by an evil spirit for years. Their safety and their surroundings come into question when one of the children question if, if the evil is real. So, uh, like again, that's an hour and 41 minutes there. It's, it's a Lionsgate film. Just a little over, uh, just uh, 2,667 theaters have been released for four days. Uh, so I, I do expect, um, because uh, of the season of Halloween, that all the people that like horror and thriller are going to be coming out to see this, I do expect this to climb probably uh, within the next uh, couple of weeks. Or, but it's going to be a very interesting. So again, number four, that is uh, Never Let Go at $4.4 .4 million. Then we're then we're going to go with Speak No Evil, five point eight million, number three, and of course uh, this is always um, pretty uh, interesting there because um, Speak No Evil, again it's a drama horror thriller, an hour and fifty minutes. It's been in it's been in uh, for released for eleven days, one week with a three. 1,375 theaters that are showing this. It is by Universal Pictures. What I uh, what I uh, have to say about this is this a family is invited to spend a whole weekend in a lonely home in the countryside, but as the weekend progresses, they realize that a dark side lies within the family who invited them. Should be very interesting there. So if you do like drama, horror, and thriller all t together, again, with the, the Halloween season, I, I expect uh, more of these kinds of movies to come out. But I do expect it to uh, do very well in the coming um, week uh, there. So again, it's a uh, by Universal Pictures, and um, it's been 11 days in one week. And uh, that is the third one. And in, in second place, uh, we have got Transformer 1, 24, $24.6 million. And again, Transformer 1 is a Paramount Picture film. It's uh, running at the, the time of the movie is 1 hour and 44 minutes. It's an Action, adventure, animation, film, fantasy, sci-fi. Uh, it's been released for four days. And um, 3,978 theaters are showing this. Uh, it was released uh, September 20th there. And again, the opening weekend was 24.6 
uh, you know, million dollars. And here's the story behind it: the unfold original story of uh, Optimus Prime and Megatron, better known as sworn enemies, but once were friends bonded like brothers who changed the fate of the Cybertron forever. So that's pretty kind of cool. Uh, like I said, uh, this one here, it's PG. You can take your kids to that. It's not a thriller. They're going to love this, uh, your kids, if they're into Transformers, if they, if you did grow up with that. Uh, I, I do expect it uh, uh, to do that. So it grossed, it grossed, uh, it said pretty close to 25 million. Internationally, it was 14 million. Worldwide, it was 39 million. So that's kind of cool. Um, you know, I, I'm expecting this one here to climb up, of course, uh, and it's been released now for four days. So if you do like action, adventure, animation, family, fantasy, sci fi, uh, this is the type of film you got kids, you want to get the popcorn. Uh, you know, take a drive to the theater. This was in at number two this past weekend. And the number one movie, you guessed it, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. That's right. And uh, again, uh, it's it's a Warner Brothers. Uh, it, it's a um, domestic $228 million internationally, $104 million worldwide, 332 this week. It checks in, though, for this weekend at 25.9, and it's in number one spot. It's a PG-13, so you can take uh, your kids uh, to this there if they're over 13. A one hour, 45 minutes. It's a comedy, fantasy, horror been running for 18 days, two weeks, and uh, it's uh, in 4,575 theaters. So it's it's pretty awesome there. And here's the story behind it. After a family tragedy, three generations of the Dietz family return home to Winter River. Still haunted by Beetlejuice, Linda's life is turned upside down when her teenage daughter, Astrid, accidentally opens the portal to the afterlife so again if you do like a bit of comedy and fantasy and horror uh this is a, a great um great film for you to check out uh and that so uh yeah this was number one and it clocked in and making this past weekend 25.9 million dollars and that is your box office report for september 20th to 22nd uh, make sure that uh, if you do, if you want to, uh, if you do have uh, some information and uh, you want to be a sponsor for the box office report, Blair, uh, please do contact us at Groovy Yeah Media. And of course, we're on all, we're on a lot of social media platforms. We're on X, we're on Instagram, and of course, we're on YouTube. So make sure to, uh, uh, and we're on LinkedIn. Uh, to contact us for a sponsorship or give us a call at the office at 1-250-462-9330. And again, uh, yes, so we are looking for a sponsor for the box office there. And don't forget to get the popcorn and the extra butter when you're going to movie night. Because what is a movie sitting in a chair without having no popcorn or Twizzlers or anything like that. And, of course, uh, getting the extra large. That's what I always do. That is your box office report for September 20, 22nd, 2024. We'll be back again next week.